Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule Collection Prime Universe Bulkhead. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. This is the new completely enclosed box, no plastic or open window. And man, does this thing have some great looking artwork there on the front of Bulkhead. Looking like he's getting ready to pounce on some Decepticons. That looks really good and really eye-catching. Top of the box, Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection. Back of the packaging, we've got Bulkhead in robot mode, vehicle mode, and a close-up shot of him holding Autobot Mjolnir. And he transforms in 31 steps. This side of the box is the Autobot Legacy artwork. This side of the box is the Decepticon Legacy artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Bulkhead all opened up out of this packaging. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Bulkhead all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, a piece of the Wrecker's Hammer, if I can pick this up, which is a very thin cardboard piece here that, you know, they're all going to be able to combine together once all the sets come out. So we'll go into more detail with that later on. He comes with his shield slash truck cover. He comes with a little minigun done up in tinted translucent plastic, his wrecking ball, and another wrecker hammer, or as I said earlier, Autobot Mjolnir. He's got a lot of waffles on that right there. And then of course you've got Bulkhead himself, and this Bulkhead here is nothing but a flat out repaint of Legacy Bulkhead that we just got a couple of months ago, hence why this is a Quick Looks video. So mainly what I'm going to do is just show off the comparison. Now as you can see, the Wreckers Bulkhead has a more olive green look than the Legacy version. Plus, he has all that really cool camouflage, which brings back some memories for me because when I first joined the military, that was what my uniform looked like. Also, looking at the windows here, the Wreckers bulkhead has black tint where Legacy has blue. Moving on down to the chest, we've got a Wreckers logo right there on the chest there, done up in blue with orange headlights there on the bottom of the chest. He's got black fists opposed to the gray, black crotch and thighs here. No painted knees like the Legacy version. He does have painted black shins, and really, that's about it. I love the color scheme on the Wrecker's bulkhead. Now, one thing I did notice, he does have his little minigun here, and if you recall, if you have a Legacy bulkhead, the minigun barely stays on. On this side, on the right side, it's like super loose, and it just doesn't peg in very tight at all. I am proud to say that they fixed it with this bulkhead. That pegs in and of course it's not going to show it off on camera, but it stays in a lot better than the other one. I mean, you're not going to just knock it off like I did that one right there. So that is nice. And as I said, that's done up in black tint. There's no paint on it whatsoever. 
like this one, which was done up with blue in blue tint, but you do see some gray here on top. So another big difference right there. With the shields, the fabric looking side on Wrecker Bulkhead is all the camo compared to the regular Legacy Bulkhead, which is plain. Flip it around though, they're both plain on the inside. And actually they almost look like they have the exact same color scheme on the inside. You've got the wrecking balls and those look to be exactly the same. And then of course, as I showed earlier, you've got the big wreckers hammer that I just now noticed you can look right through the middle. I do wish the handle was a little longer. It's almost like a gavel instead of a hammer. So one mild complaint right there. So let's go ahead and get the Wrecker bulkhead all armed up and we'll take a look at the two with all the weaponry attached. And here we have the two bots side to side. And I must say, I do like the deco on the Wrecker's bulkhead so much more. Though I do wish he had the camouflage deco on the shield section here instead of just on the other side. I think that would have looked a lot better. Of course, an easy fix is to just reverse it. So now let's take a look at these bulkheads together in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, I once again have to give it to Wrecker's bulkhead. He just looks so much better with that military look opposed to the regular legacy bulkhead. About the only big difference with the vehicles is Wrecker's bulkhead has a black gas tank where Legacy has a silver or gray. Once again, the tinted windows look great in vehicle mode and I just love it. I just love the camouflage look. It just looks so much better than the plain look here, which I understand what they were going for with Prime bulkhead, but man, this deco here absolutely rocks. I love it. So there you go guys, there you have bulkheads in vehicle mode. I absolutely love the looks of the Amazon exclusive Wreck and Rule bulkhead. I wish this figure came out first because I would have bought him hands down over the plain looking legacy version. I just adore the more military look of this figure with the olive green and the camouflage. I think he looks badass. Even more badass if you add a Firetox Designs minigun to him to really up his firepower. And I'm glad they fixed the connection issue with the minigun that he came with. So yeah, if you don't have a bulkhead yet, this is the one you want to get. And even if you already have a legacy bulkhead, I think you're really going to dig this guy. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube. I have a super thanks button, and I also want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!